Aloha. I'm Marcia Joyner, and I am here from the Democratic Party of Hawaii, and we as a party are supporting statehood for Washington, D.C. It is, what can I say, it's been a hundred years that people have been trying to get statehood for D.C. The League of Women Voters wrote their first letter in support of statehood. Last year, the Democrats in the House supported statehood. It passed the House, but it did not pass the Senate. And that is because the district was to become a state. That would give two more senators for the Democrats, which would give them the, a plus or the majority. And of course, the Republicans last year, the president, Trump, said no, asked them, please don't, because that would give, again, they were in the majority then, but that would give the Democrats the majority. So now that that is real, and that's been the problem for 100 years now, we are trying very hard. We want you to support the District of Columbia to become state. Now, if we look at the picture, you can see this is the District of Columbia, this little bitty space here. When the Capitol was built, this land out here was the state or still is the state of Maryland. And they donated this part to build the Capitol. And this part was donated by Virginia in 1847, or, or they call it seeding to the land. Within here is the federal area where all, where the Capitol and the White House here, the White House is here. And all of this is the capital area. Over here is Maryland on this part. And this part is really which has been given back to Virginia. So where the airport is, and you hear a lot about Arlington and Alexandria. This is on this side of the Potomac. So this little bitty piece is what we're asking for, that it has its own boundaries. This year, because they were not a state, they didn't get the amount of money that all the other states got for vaccines for COVID. And they pay a lot of tax, as you can see, taxation without representation. So they have a one member in the House, and, but she doesn't get to vote. Kind of crazy that this day and age that we would have a place that does not have voting rights. The people do not have, they can't vote for president. It's amazing that we are now at this point. So we are asking you, like everybody else, to write to D.C., to the mayor of D.C., and support statehood for Washington, D.C. The new president, Biden, is supporting statehood for D.C., and most of the big organizations like the League of Women Voters, they have been supporting forever. The NAACP is supporting, lots and lots of big organizations are supporting statehood for DC. I'm asking you to join us and write to the mayor and your congressional district, write to them, tell them to support statehood for DC, okay? Thank you so much. And remember, your own congressman, write to them, tell them you want to support statehood for D.C. And I thank you so much for spending this time with me. And we'll see you next time.